Fred Ricciani for the Sports Courier here at the Action Martial Arts Hall of Fame weekend. Joined by our old pal, Dan the B. Severin, UFC Hall of Famer. And Mr. Severin, what brings you here today in Atlantic City? Well, I mean, when you look around, it's, it's basically the, uh, the martial arts sports extravaganza. You name it between Taekwondo, Judo, Karate. You know, it's, it's all here underneath one roof. Back behind the curtain, there's competition that's taking place. It's, uh, I'm just one of the cast of characters that they have here. Now, you're at the UFC 20th anniversary show, and everybody was just tweeting, and, and Facebook, and I don't know if you noticed, everybody's saying, Dan Severn never ages, Dan Severn never ages. Uh, I'm like, I knew this already, I see you every year at these things, man. What is your secret to aging? Well, let's say that I have a home in, in Michigan and a home out in Arizona. Now, it's, it's located in Fountain Hills, Arizona. At one point in time, maybe they charted it as the uh, largest fountain in North America. Is it just a fountain, or is it the fountain of youth? Never know here right now. Interesting. And you, you do look great. Now, a couple years ago, I asked you if you'd ever fight Don Fry. You said only if Just For Men could sponsor you guys. Exactly. Did that ever work out? Just For Men, Schick. Gillette, you know, razor blades, shaving cream, whatever else. Maybe we'll even throw Old Spice into the, into the swing of things right there. No, it has not. No takers. Now, Don still has the more bolder, darker stash than the Beast, but I'm the originator. That you are, my friend. Now, we're also here for our friends at Bullion. We're kicking it. And just to let everybody know, how did martial arts come into your life and how has it positively affected you, besides the obvious, of course, which is your beautiful gold belts? Well, I mean, it, it's affected my life in a lot of different ways. I mean, I'm really big on kids' charities. I, I, I always have been. I am uh, I work with several different charities. Kicking it is simply just one of them. I'm big about kids just for the fact that kids don't get a chance to pick out who mom or dad is. They don't get a chance to pick out where they have to live. They are a victim of their circumstances. Although at a certain point, they learn what is right and what is wrong. If they do wrong, it's because they choose to do wrong. But I'm still, I'm, I'm willing to give them a little bit more forgiveness, stuff like that. You hit 25 and on, I write you off at that point in time. You're an idiot, that's what I refer to you as. And do you think that martial arts should be incorporated in schools? Because we see gym class and they got dodgeball and they got basketball and football and that's great and all, but you would think, especially at this point where mixed martial arts is at, that they would start incorporating classes. I, I could see that being in there, but again, if you don't have the right leadership things in that in that place, what, is it really going to be mixed martial arts? Is it going to be this watered down aspect of mixed martial arts? Again, it's just you know when you look at more and more or football, you know head concussions, things of this nature. It's not the sport that I, I once watched. It was not the sport that I once played. Is there there's there's rational reasons for some of it, but some of the stuff I support. Some of it I don't support. Again, it's just a lowering of our, of our standards here. Where can fans find you online? Because obviously you're traveling all over the world, training people, selling these awesome mustaches. I mean, this is, the, brother, this is great. The beast is always on the loose. I, I, I challenge most young men to try to keep up with the, the schedule that I keep. I enjoy it. And see, yes, I do combination. I call this the tough man kit, slap on a mustache. You'd be surprised. When the ladies ask you a question, if you simply just do one of these numbers or one of these numbers, how much more seriously they take you to process? I mean, already in this, in this interview, I'm taking you just that much more seriously in, in this interview here now. It's the beauty of the beast.